Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey fly tying video production. Here I'm going to be sharing my favourite flies and methods of tying them to make catching fish better for you guys around the world. All the flies that I'll be tying I personally use and they all catch fish, not just the angler. At the end of each of the videos there'll be a list of materials required to tie a fly just in case you missed it in the video and a link to my online shop where you can purchase the correct materials to tie these killer patterns. Hope you all enjoy it. Today I'm going to be tying a little simple fly, it's a Bibio Emerger with a slight difference. What I've got in the vise is a B160 size 16. It's got a nice wide gape, short shank, that's what I like. I'm going to be using sheer, uh, sheer thread which is 14.0, uh, and it says it's my favourite in black. We're going to be using some black dubbing. Right. So you can use what you want, that's hen stuff, hairs here, but you can use seals fur, but on, when you go down to that size of hook, you want to use maybe hairs here because the, the seals fur is a bit too too thick, and then we're going to be using some claret as well, alright, it's quite a, a light claret, it's not too dark, and then obviously we're going to be using, what we all need is, is a good quality cock hackle, dyed black, that's one I dyed a while ago, you could use a saddle, you can use a neck, this is a neck, but obviously you can use a saddle as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll start by just running the thread down the hook shank. I say this is not going to take long to tie this fly. I love these patterns because they work fantastic. And on my local water, uh, the Greif Reservoir, I usually just fish two of these. So I'm waxing the thread. I usually fish two of these on quite a long leader uh, and just go up and cast them blind and the, the brownies love it. So, we've waxed the thread up, so we're just going to take a tiny little bit of black, right, and just dub it onto the thread. So that's it dubbed onto the thread. And then we're going to take a little bit of claret, and do the same again with that. Right, so, as I say, it's minuscule, I mean it's short shank hook, and not a lot of dubbing. Now we're just going to run it back up. Right, and you'll see the little bit of claret there, and then all we want to do is put another wee bit of black just at the front. Right, just move it up. So you're not want to over put too much on, and just that's it. That's basically the body. There's nothing more, nothing fancy. Just trim off that little bit and just tie that. The next thing we want to do is get a hackle. So we're wanting one that's it's going to give us a nice stiff. Bit for the fly to sit on. Right, so I've got a hackle there. I'll always give it a wee check just to make sure. Right, that's not bad. Because basically we're going to, I'll show you in a minute, what we're going to do, catch that in, one, two, three, four, five, then cut the stock away, alright, get the hackle pliers, these are stone through hackle pliers, I really like them, one, two, Right, we're not going to put a lot of hackle on this, it's quite a fine hackle, so I'm going to take it back off again because I'm not happy with the way it's sitting. Right, I'm going to run it again, one, two, three, and we'll do a fourth turn. Obviously if you're using a saddle sometimes there's a, the fibres are a lot denser, so you maybe only need two turns. Just catch that in. Trim the excess away. Now we need to pull the hackle out the way when we're doing the work finish. Alright, just pull the hackle out the way. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Hold it. Then get your varnish. Put a bit of varnish on the thread. Then pull it tight. 
So we're not actually going to varnish this fly, we're just varnishing it at the point by doing it that way. And just take that away. Now, it's your own personal choice if you want to leave the bottom hackle on or not. You can leave that on or you can clip it. I kind of keep both in stock in my box. I use both because sometimes I want it to sit a wee bit higher, sometimes I want it to sit a bit flatter in the water. So if I want it to sit flatter, I will trim that hackle just to the, just where the point of the hook is. So I hope you really enjoyed that. As I say, it's a simple fly. It's good to fish it on a midge tip as well. Two of them, cast them out, leave them. If the fish don't take it off the surface, then just start figurating them back. The fish nail it. I always fish it uh, both ways anyway. So I really hope you enjoyed that uh, video. As I say, it's a really simple fly. You can tie tons of them up. Uh, so thanks for watching. Go follow me on uh, Facebook, David C Downey, or Instagram, Dave Downey Fly Fishing, or check out my guiding site, which is www.davedowneyfishing.com, and my online shop is www.fly-fishingworld.com, where you'll get all the materials. You can buy the flies. Uh, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, uh, hope you come back and watch some more. <laughs>